Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tuesday and I love unboxing fashion with all of you. Today I have, guess what, another Stitch Mix box to open with you. As it turns out, I realized that my subscriptions have dwindled down to just Stitch Mix, so expect to see a lot of them for a while um, until I decide what style boxes I want to try next or if I'm going to be doing more hauls where I pick my own pieces, which are always fun for me. All right, I am excited to get into this box because I am with my same stylist, Mary. Her and I have a really good rapport right now and she seems to really be clicking with me and every box has been just full of fun and interesting surprises, which is what this is all about, right? So instead of just talking about it, let's get into it. Stitch Fix is a personalized styling and shopping service that curates this collection of clothing that is really uh, tailored towards you based on a style quiz that you fill out and there's some fun kind of a guess like this or that, would you wear it, would you not wear it kind of game um, that's part of their AI on their app, which is really fun. Um, and then also based on things that you add to your style board, which is part of the app and uh, things that you end up saving in the freestyle market, etc. You can either have someone style a box for you, like I am showing you today, or you can pick up things on your own as part of the freestyle market, uh, which I indulge in eh, every once in a while. What I love about the styling part of it is that they send the box to you uh, free of charge, meaning that, that, you know, besides the styling fee that you pay for them to put it together, I don't have to pay for the items up front. I can try everything on and then only pay for what I decide to keep. When you do the freestyle, it's more like a regular shopping experience. You buy the item, it's sent to you. You can return it. They do have a return system, um, but you have to, you're out of the money up front. And so I prefer doing the styling service um, when I can. Anyways, like I said, my stylist is Mary again today, and her and I have really been clicking. I did not ask her for anything specific in this box because this was a, another quick turnaround box, um, and I felt like she had my note from the, from the previous box, which told her that I was really trying to amp up my summer wardrobe by adding, like, you know, denim shorts and t cute t-shirts and... Uh, button down lightweight shirts that kind of thing you know stuff that you would wear during the summer linen cotton that kind of thing um, and then she just kind of seems to click with what my style is and so I felt very safe not leaving her a note knowing that she would kind of pick up on the cues um, and I I think she really has she left me a cute little note uh, and I'll read it to you really quickly. She says, I loved having you back for another fix. I hope you have been able to sip iced coffees on your porch lately. Um, if you haven't seen my patio <laughs> unboxing, uh, where I did my Stitch Fix unboxing on my patio, be sure to check that out. It's kind of fun. She says, I would imagine you having a fan running above you for a nice breeze, which I do. And she says, I would then imagine being on the beach, which is a far as I'm going to get to the beach this summer. Honey, me too. <laughs> no matter where you are. Um, then she goes on to talk about the um, jeans that I picked out of my preview. Uh, she, then she goes on to tell me that she tried to find some casual pieces that would go with those jeans, um, as uh, including a pair of Tevas, which I'm excited to show you guys. Um, and then also... She sent the Liravan V-neck knit top to relax or dress up for a well-deserved night out. Thank you. Um, and then she said, please let me know what you think of these pieces and if there's anything uh, she could change for the next fix. All the best, Mary. Okay, enough of the chatter. Let's get into the clothes. I'm gonna start with the shoes, actually. These are the Tevas that she sent me and I love the colors on them. This kind of like, a neon rainbow that's going on here. There's like a hot pink, there's a hot uh, yellow, uh, kind of a light blue. I have really, really been into kind of like 
yellows and blues lately as far as like a color combination they feel so sunny and bright to me they feel like the epitome of summer right now um they feel relaxed but also still very peppy um and so i've been really into that colorway lately and i feel like these shoes are going to play right into that i have um another pair of teva sandals that i love 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 they are not quite like this these are the originals um they have that kind of um memory foam type or you know squishy foam um, bottom on there. They're not as rigid as the other Tevas that I have, which are also still squishy, but they're more of a, um, like of a plasticky kind of, um, style to them. I know it's not like, I don't know what it is, but, <laughs> um, I do really, really enjoy them. Um, and I haven't had a pair of Tevas like this. I'm just happy that Tevas have come back in style again, because they're really, really comfortable. Um, and I'm just excited to give these a shot. The next item in my fix is this Market and Spruce Lurvin V-neck Dolman knit top that Mary mentioned. Um, I'm pretty sure that I have or had a top that was just like this in just another color. The one that I had, I think I I either sold on Poshmark or is in my Poshmark pile that's behind the camera um, because I just didn't wear it that much because of the color. It was this beautiful kind of teal green, but it just, I don't know, it just didn't suit me very well. Um, and so I just found myself not really reaching for it. And so I decided to let it go. But on a white, I mean, you can't have too many white shirts, right? This is kind of a nice uh alternative to a white t-shirt it is a three-quarter length sleeve it does have that dolman uh sleeve to it so it's a little bit wider on the body meaning it's going to be a little more breezy which i can really appreciate at this time of year uh particularly if it's going to have a three-quarter sleeve so i'm excited to give this one a shot i remember the other shirt fitting well obviously i kept it um but i just remember the coloring not being quite what i wanted it to be the next item is also a market and spruce top it's a graphic tee in this heathered or dark heathered gray um and the graphic says every day is a good day in this beautiful kind of pale pink um it's really cute uh it's a crew neck shirt i love the way it feels it's nice and soft and it looks like it has a stitched rolled sleeve on it which i don't know if you'll be able to tell that well on camera but it is a stitched rolled sleeve um and it's kind of like it's not rolled evenly on purpose yeah um i don't really know how to describe that but it's you know up in some places but it's not like rolled evenly yeah i'm not sure quite how to describe that to you but you can kind of see it there anyways that's the shirt then i picked a pair of jeans out of my preview for those of you who haven't tried stitch fix before before they send you the box they send you a little preview i think you'll get like 36 hours to pick things that you want to have included in the box so it's kind of a collaboration between your stylist and yourself to get a, a box that you really love um this pair of jeans was in that preview. A, these are the Cosmic Blue Love uh, Wide Leg Trouser Boot Cut Jeans um, in this lovely kind of faded blue wash, which I really, really love. They do have a stitched hem on them. I don't see a lot of distressing. I mean, there's a little. You can see it on the pockets and stuff, but it's meant to be more like it's, you know, been worn in as opposed to distressed. There's no like rips or tears or anything like that. I have a pair of boyfriend cropped pants by Cosmic Blue Love that I absolutely love. I mean, I love them. I wear them all the time. They are distressed, but they are similar color to this, but I just absolutely love them. They fit so well. They're so comfortable. Um, they're kind of a go-to when I don't know what else to reach for. I reach for those pants. And so um, if these fit in the waist as well as my boyfriend ones do, then these could be a keeper. And then finally is a nine Britain top. It's called the Nisha short sleeve knit top and it's in this green. Okay. Green is not really my jam, but we will give it a shot. It's a little cool for me, this tone particularly. If I wear green, I usually stick to a warmer um, like army green or olive green, something that has a little bit of more of a warmer undertone to it. This runs very cool. So green is not particularly my color, especially when it's close to my face. I don't mind a uh, green in a pant. I have a 
really comfortable pair of cropped wide leg pants by Spanx that I love. Um, but when it's near my face, it just kind of washes me out. So I don't know if I'm going to love this very much, but we'll give it a shot. Okay, that is everything in this box. I am ready for a try on if you guys are. So let's do it. Okay, let's start with the white Market and Spruce Dolman sleeve top. I really love it. Uh, it fits just the way I remember it fitting. I'm positive that this is the same top that I purchased before. I'm going to go back and look at my purchase history, but I'm pretty sure this is the same exact top that I've had before. Um, I like it. It washes really well. Um, it fits really well. And now I would have it in a color that I probably will wear a lot more often. I honestly cannot have enough white shirts. I I have a litany of them. I have white button downs and oversized and fitted. I have white tanks, multiple white tanks, um, you know, white uh, t-shirts. I just... I can't get enough of white tops. So this could be um, another good piece to have in my arsenal. Perfect for summer. It's not super heavy, but like I said, it is a three quarter length sleeve and I do live somewhere where the temperatures get really, really intense. So it might not be something I reach for all the time, but with that dolman sleeve and it being a little more boxy and airy, um, I'll probably still reach for it pretty often. Okay, next let's talk about the other Market and Spruce t-shirt. This is a cute tee, nothing wrong with it at all. It fits well, it's not too long, it's not too boxy, it kind of skims the body. Um, it's really soft on. Um, I like the saying on it. I don't have any complaints. I love the color. The only thing I kind of am wishy-washy about is um, the sleeve. Like I said, it has that uh, rolled up hem on it and it's not, uh, it's not evenly rolled. And I know that's on purpose by design. Um, I just don't know how that I feel about that. It's not my favorite to be quite honest. Um, I just wish it was stitched a little bit differently, but here's the thing for those of you who've ever, uh, rolled up a shirt and either stitched it yourself or it was already stitched and it was stitched evenly. It never stays that way. <laughs> it never stays that way. You wash it and it gets all wonky. And unless you're going to whip out your iron to press it flat, you're just going to live with it the way it is. This eliminates that problem by just making it part of the design of the shirt. So I do appreciate that, even though I'm kind of whining about it. Um, I, 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 I'm not mad about it. Let me just say that. I, I don't have any real issues with this shirt. I think it's really cute. Um, I don't know that I necessarily have reason to keep it unless this ends up being a, like a five for five situation, in which case, um, if I, you know, liked all four other pieces, then yeah, I would go ahead and get this. But if there's anything else in the box that I don't want and the money turns out to be right, because part of the um, fun of trying to decide whether you're keeping a whole box or not is cost, um, then I would send it back. So it's kind of one of those on the fence pieces. It'll go back if I'm sending something else back anyways. I'll keep it if I'm keeping everything else. Okay, let's talk about this top. <laughs> um, one of the details that I missed when I opened it is that it has um, this ribbing at the shoulder, which is kind of a cool detail. And at the shoulder, which you'll see in the video, um, it has this uh, kind of gusset here to cover um, the shoulder, the underarm area so that, you know, your bra isn't peeping out. Um, I liked the, this, the vibe of this shirt. It has this kind of edgy rock and roll vibe to it that I really like. It has this, um, it, it just, it's just, it's cool. It's fun. I like it. I like the vibe of it. Um, it feels like a cutoff t-shirt and that's what I like about it. I love the ribbing at the, uh, arm and on the shoulder that I just showed you. I love the length of this. It's a really great length. Um, but I have two issues with this top. One of course is the color. I feel like it just washes me out and makes me look a little bit ashy. Um, it's not helping that I'm wearing, um, that I've mixed metals today and I'm wearing silver close to my face. So that's just washing me out more. And then I wore a neutral <laughs> lipstick, which is washing me out more. So maybe this wasn't the best, like <laughs> the best uh, canvas to put this shirt on top of, but I just don't think this is doing me any favors as far as color goes. 
Um, the other thing that I'm not 100% thrilled about is the way it fits across my bust. As you guys know, if you've been watching the channel for a minute, I am larger chested. I wear a 34G as far as a bra is concerned. So sometimes tops just don't work out for me and that's okay. This one feels like, um, like my bust is really kind of trying to pop out on the sides. It's just not laying across the bust the way that I feel that it should. Um, and that's not the shirt's fault, you know, not everything is made for every frame. Um, but I do think this is a cute top and maybe if I was a little bit smaller chested, um, and this was a different color, I might consider keeping it, but I really just don't have any reason, uh, to include that top in my repertoire. Okay, let's jump into these pants. I wore these for a good minute before, um, I, before I'm, I'm filming this part of the video, um, so I can give you a really good review of you know, whether they're working for me or not. First thing you should know about these pants is that they are 98% cotton and 2% spandex, which is within my realm of spandex, uh, allowability. <laughs> um, for those of you who don't know when it comes to jeans, I kind of have a rule. Uh, I try to keep the stretch to 2% or less. I don't really love or appreciate really stretchy jeans. I find that over the course of the day, they just slide off my body. I'm a pretty curvy girl. Um, and so if there's too much stretch in them, my body's just like, oh, let's compensate for, <laughs> for all of these curves and just roll right off your body. That's generally what happens um, with jeans that have too much stretch. So I try to either get one to 2% stretch 1% is preferable to me. Two is like, okay. Um, so these are right where I want them to be. Um, the length on these is perfect. Um, I, I looked before I decided to, um, get them when I was looking at the preview. So I knew they were going to be great, but I just love the length on these. I prefer a longer, um, longer length jean. I know that it is in style right now for jeans to hit a little bit higher on the leg, like maybe around the ankle or something like that. I just don't prefer that. I'm still a 90s girl at heart. Um, and I prefer my jeans to be floor length, like dragging on the floor. I'd rather them drag on the floor than be uh, up at my ankle. That's just my preference as far as like full length jeans go. Um, I don't mind that they get a little ragged on the edges on the bottom when you're walking or whatever, or if I have to like you know, snip the hem or whatever. I, I don't mind any of that. I think it's a vibe because clearly in a former life, I was, I don't know, a hippie or something. I don't know. <laughs> there are times when I think to myself, like, I must have, you know, been in an art commune somewhere, you know, selling bead necklaces. And I don't know. <laughs> just have these moments where like I imagine myself being a little bit more boho I guess than I actually am but moving on <laughs> I digress um I love the wash on these jeans I love how comfortable they are they are a high rise so they fit me like at the belly button now because they have that two percent stretch in them they did kind of move a little bit but not you know crazily so where I felt like I was hiking them up every two seconds like I said I had I was in these jeans for quite a little bit of time um so I I feel comfortable in saying that this is a good pair of jeans for me um I love the way that they fit the curves I just Cosmic Blue Love has just been a great label for me. And um, these jeans, I I would recommend if you are a little bit curvier through the hip and thigh, um, if you're maybe pear or apple shaped like I am, um, these, these are great. I just, I'm really, I really enjoy these and would love to add these to my collection. Okay, finally, let's talk about the t -bus. Now my feet were a little bit swollen. I told y'all I am on a medication that makes my feet swell a little bit. Um, so I didn't get any video, but I did snap a little picture because they weren't too bad today. Um, but I, I like these. It took a minute for me to adjust them to sit on my foot where they were comfortable. Um, if you've ever worn Tevas before, you know that sometimes that pinky toe sits out at the top here. And so you have to be careful to make sure that this 
uh, little intersection of material and the kind of plastic or metal piece or whatever's in here. I think that's, it feels like some kind of plastic um, piece doesn't hit your pinky toe in the wrong way. So once I got them adjusted to a way that uh, was comfortable, I was like, oh yes, these are great. Um, although I am going to walk around in them just a little bit, just to make sure that um, they're as comfortable as I think they are. You have an adjustable footbed at the top, or strap at the top, um, an adjustable strap at the ankle as well across the top of the foot. Um, so you can make that uh, wider or narrowed or more narrow depending on um, what's more comfortable for you. And then the rest of these pieces are rigid. Um, it has a nice foamy cushiony footbed on it that's a little bit flexible. Uh, another thing that I appreciated is that there is like some texture. This feels very like kind of soft. Uh, or velvety like it's flocked or something on the bottom here and at the top um so that way you don't slip in maybe like water or something like that it gives a little bit of traction so i appreciated that this is a nice shoe um she sent me these i believe in a 10 i'm usually i'm usually a 10 in sandals where my toes can have some room to breathe um but in a close to shoe i'm usually a 10 and a half so um these did fit well and I do like them. Okay, that's everything in the box. Um, you guys heard me ramble way more than you should up today. And so I, I propose that we get into a recap. Um, I got my paperwork here in front of me. Let's dive into it. We'll start with the Cosmic Blue Love Ginger Wide Leg Trouser Jean. Uh, they sent it to me in a size 10. It does run true to size. These are $88. I think they're worth every penny. Next are the Teva sandals. These are the original universal strappy sandal. Um, they sent them to me in a size 10. I would say they run true to size. I have weird feet, so whatever. But I would say they pretty much run true to size. Um, these are $55. I think that's a good deal. This is actually about the price that I expect to pay for these. Like if I was shopping at, say, DSW or something like that. So their um, Stitch Fix is on par as far as the price uh, for those Teva sandals. Then we have the Market and Spruce Tamara Crew Neck Graphic Tee in this dark gray. They sent it to me in a large. It does run true to size. It's $30. A little expensive to me um, for what it is, but um, it's one of those on the fence pieces. I'll keep it. If I am keeping everything, I'll send it back if I'm not. Then we have the Market and Spruce Laravin V-neck Dolman Knit Top. That's the white one. They sent it to me in a large. Also runs true to size. It's $46. Um, eh, it, $46 is fine. I'm, I'm not like complaining about the price. It is what it is. Um, and then the Nina Britton Nisha Short Sleeve Knit Top in green. Also a large runs true to size but if you're busty beware um this is 36 dollars okay so the only thing in here that i'm really like i definitely don't want it is the nine britain top this green one here everything else i could totally keep so if i'm looking at the math like if I, i'm looking at the things i would definitely want to keep which is the pant the the tivas and the white top. If I add those together, I'm like dollars away from what it would cost to keep the whole box um, because you do get a 25% discount if you keep all five pieces. So my total would be 191.25, which is, I mean, dollars away from um, just keeping those three items. So it kind of doesn't make sense to send, it's, it's gonna be an all or nothing. I'm either going to keep it all or send it all back. Like those are the options. Um, or I guess, you know, decide to not keep some items. If I, if I choose just two items to keep, then of course I would send the rest back because now the dollars, you know, work out in my favor. But, um, if I keep three items, then I'm, then I'm keeping the whole box and I will just resell the rest of it on Poshmark or give it as a gift or whatever. Um, yeah, let me know what you all thought about this fix. Did you like the pieces as much as I did? Uh, let me know what was your favorite if you did enjoy um, anything in the box. Um, yeah, and let me know what styling service you think I should jump into next. I know that there have been some closures of styling services over the last six months or so. Um, so there's that. But I'm also just feeling a lot more like I've had a lot more luck 
picking things for myself with the exception of um you know since i've had mary as my stylist at stitch fix i've had much better boxes there which is why i continue to um to do them and i'm a style pass member so it really doesn't um it really doesn't cost me to you know get in get a stitch fix box every couple of weeks but if there's another styling service you guys are interested in seeing me try it by all means let me know or if there's a store you think i should go shop at and do a haul uh let me know i'd be happy to dive into that too all right that is it for now until the next video live with love